Hello, friends. Hi. How are you doing? Good. That's good. Yesterday I came into the other meeting. I know. I, I was there. For helping. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Did you get, or were you able to, were you, are you now the owner of the group project? Yes. Okay, good. Because uh, I couldn't figure out how to set you as the owner, but looks like you are, so. Why are you just only three people? I don't know. Well, the first time I opened it up just like super briefly and. To Veronica. Then closed. Maybe, maybe they're going to go to other meeting again and come back yeah. to this meeting. And I closed it really quick, uh, and then I don't know if that threw people off because it was like a few minutes early, and I was like, oh, no, I'm not ready to be in the spotlight yet. I'm still doing my makeup. No, I don't wear makeup for these. Once I did, but, you know. Oh, my point is that I'm tired today, uh, so once more people show up, I'm, I'm going to get your guys' help. I need you guys to not talk over each other. Can you help me? Can you help us in my showcase project? Oh, can you look at the leaderboard so fast? Yeah, we will pull up the leaderboard. Share your uh, screen. I, well, I haven't got the leaderboard up yet. Share your screen. To see. Well, give me a second. You're so impatient. Leaderboard. Okay. We've got Niall. Niles is coming into the meeting. Two people have entered the waiting room. Everybody come in. Who entered the meeting room and let them in? Yes, I'm, I'm trying to do that as fast as I see them. Okay, here's the leaderboard last, last week. week. Miley! Because <laughs> we do these things in class and then she like takes a screenshot. Go down. <laughs> Can you go down? Yeah, yeah them five. See, it says, it oh, Miley, there's also, I see Miley's, can I see Miley's? Yeah. Oh, she did the same. Well, that's because it's how the project works. <laughs> uh, color flip, animating with math. Oh, yeah, we already saw this one. Uh, ooh, cool. I like it. Pretty sweet. But helium only has two electrons. Maybe they're doing lithium? I think this is lithium. See, yeah, and lithium. Okay. Can I go down? Let me see. see last month. Mm -hmm. Let's see last month. You just Stop want to it. see yourself higher up. I'm going to have to stop uh, doing projects for you. Yeah, I think, Miley, if you get stuck on a project, I will help you debug it, but I'm not just going to show you the code so you can screenshot it and get on the top of the leaderboard. Oh, how do you screenshot? screenshot it? She memorizes it. Or look at the yeah. YouTube videos. No, I don't even know the YouTube channel. Wow. It's like hash coding. Mm. This one still doesn't work. Right, I keep clicking on that one. It doesn't work. Wait, um, can we look at my showcase? I mean, can, we look, gonna... at, can we look at a group project? Yeah. Can, I'll invite you. Uh, Gotham, do you remember the last, like, 14 webinars that we've had? Yeah. When do we look at the group projects? The last? Yeah, at the end. <laughs> so, Wait, yeah, if you what, ask me right now, I'm just going to say your, at the end. What's your, um, for hatch coding? I'm sorry? For you, your, your account. Oh, Brenda at hatch coding. Um, but if you can't add me, or dot .com. If you can't add me, just throw the link in the chat and I can add myself. Greetings to everyone I haven't said hi to yet. Welcome, everybody. Uh, you're watching Disney Channel. Just kidding. You're watching Hatch, Hatch Coding. I don't Do see people you. still watch Disney Channel? Or is I don't it like think so. a millennial thing? I mean, it's a Gen Z so. thing. So, what is the project we're doing? Uh, to. Unless anybody has any specific requests that's not just, can you debug my project? If there's a specific topic you guys want to talk about, we can do that. Okay, we can look at um, this. Let's see some projects if I can let's see. Let's see. <laughs> but not, not like. So what I was thinking, because last, last, at our last webinar, we had some trouble talking about like how you use mouse clicked in different ways in different screens. Like how to control when it's clicking on a button and when it's doing something else and like how to switch between different people's projects. Like how to switch between modes. 
basically. So I thought we could take a look at the last challenge of Stamp Maker, and that might clear things up a little bit. So I'll get your gu you guys to give your input, just like always. Winston. Um, yeah. I, I have a request for everybody who's here. I am very tired today, uh, and there's a lot of you. And if you wanted to, you could just talk oh, over yeah. me. And that wouldn't be fun because then I'd have to mute you all and not let you unmute yourselves. And that wait, wait, would be can, really wait, can I tell what, what he said? I can't hear. I'm saying that I want you guys to be respectful uh, when other people are talking because I do not have the energy to wrangle all of you today. <laughs> Just if you want to say something, you may to make sure that the other person's finished talking first or ask them if you can have a turn. You know, does that make sense? There are eight people today. So that should be a little easier. <laughs> oh yeah, and if you spam, I will kick you out, even if your name is Dawson. Me? <laughs> if, if you're annoying people in the chat, that is grounds for... Uh, I'm saying hi to everybody for eight people. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four. I only said one, two, three, four. Mary says hello. Things I pet says hello. Six, We've got seven, more highs. Eight. For everybody, okay. including me and you. Okay. Gotham has said hello to everyone. Hi. I'll consider no. it. Lovely. All right. Let's get started on this. The last challenge is what I wanted to talk about. Uh, we did this last time. This, now it's random. I let the user select from different stamps. Uh, do, are you guys happy with the snake, the Winston, and the frog, or do you want to pick new images? New images. New images. Okay. Can we draw the images? We draw yeah. Them? That would... Uh, would take, take a, a long, long time. Because, yeah. like, in the instructions, they want us to do, like, stamps here. Like, they want us to throw a bunch of ellipse and everything. So if you guys want to draw your own, like, you should be able to take this code that I'm doing and, and draw your, like, complete this challenge with your own drawn images. We can probably, uh, oh, I don't know if that'll actually work. Yeah, I think we're just gonna have to stick with what's in the image library now and we can do some customization afterwards once we're all clear on the clicking mechanics. Is that okay? Ava's here. Okay, so everyone's here. It's just they're taking a little while to show up. All right, so does anybody, so put it in the chat if you have a recommendation for which picture to use. Sorry, I'm late. No problem. We're doing Stamp Maker because the mouse controls are confusing yesterday. So I'm going over challenge three of Stamp Maker to explain how to use boundaries to make the mouse behave in different ways in different situations. Okay. We were just Miley's request is Baby Winston. If you have a request for what picture to use, throw it in the chat. I we think we can... Internet problem. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. Um, so everybody, if you want, you can open up your own image library. I think I can accommodate about four pictures. Instead um, of baby Winston, I meant to do the other Winston. Or it's not a Winston, hmm. it's a creature. Oh. Wait, let me see if I can find the page. Or it's, it's like with the monkey. The monkey? Oh, this one? Yeah, um, it's the creature sub three. Sub three. Oh, oh, the froggy guy. No, 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 that's sub, okay, so the other smiley. What should yeah. we name this guy? This guy doesn't have a name yet. Happy. Happy? <laughs> so we've got Miles with CS Hopper Cool. Okay, so I'll start putting these in. Uh, creatures sub three. So we'll say if R is zero, um, we'll do, oh, Adrian's here. Creatures slash sub three, and then... What did Niles recommend? Avatar slash CS slash hyphen hopper hyphen cool. Avatars. Ah! Tragedy, disaster. Okay. Uh, CS hopper cool. And does anybody else have any requests for images to use? No, I guess I can leave it as Winston for now then. <laughs> I'm going to throw up a background, uh, which I'm going to make it my favorite H, or not HTML, uh, RGB color, which is this nice, like, pink. 
<laughs> Somebody wants Baby Yoda. The problem with having Baby Yoda is that it's a load image. And as we saw yesterday, load image is like really, really, really picky. Um, so I want to get the mouse control set up first, and then we can add in pictures on the internet. We could try and add in sounds. We could try and uh, draw our own pictures. We'll make it crazy. <laughs> yeah, we'll make it super duper crazy. But first, we got to figure out how to make it work at all. Um, but what I can do is use normal Yoda. <laughs> we have that option. Uh, okay, so if we click, it'll give us a random selection of CS Hopper Cool Guy, Happy, and uh, Yoda. But we don't want it to be random. For today, we're doing this project. I'll unapprove the challenge quickly. Um, create a menu where the user can click on which stamp they want to draw, and when they click on the canvas, it should stamp their chosen stamp. So instead of drawing a random one, we should be able to choose. So what I'm going to do is... I think is, you have, like... What do I have? Like, you have bar image set as animal snake green tree boa. Would, would it still work? Yeah, I can... Um, I can change this to our creatures slash sub three, but it, it's fine. Because okay. we're defaulting Snack. R to be zero. So R is the one that's helping us choose between these three images right now. When I click the mouse, it picks a random number and then it calls draw picture. So whatever number R happens to be, it, it does the corresponding picture. So instead of doing like, okay, we'll just, we'll just set it up. The first thing we should probably do is make the menu where people can choose between the, which stamp they want. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Yeah, because uh, if I don't do that, then nobody will know where to click to choose their shape, choose their character. So I'm going to draw. Where should our menu be? Top. Top row? Is everybody okay with top row? Or bottom. The side. The side? <laughs> so many. I really don't care. Okay. Um, well, well, let's just make a strip. Uh, and, and then you can like click on them and change your picture. So we'll display three the three images that we can choose between equally, like evenly across the top. So I'll start with uh, creatures slash sub three. Creatures sub three, and we'll put that one at position. Let's go twenty. Twenty, just for now. See how it looks. Uh, oh, it's big. I don't make it size a hundred, a hundred. Okay, that's not big enough. I'll change it to fifty, fifty. Maybe, maybe a hundred. You know what? A hundred, a hundred, a hundred, a hundred. That's you know, winning formula. Oh, it should be fit. Okay, now I'm gonna space them out so that there's. Through all three pictures on the screen. Second one, I can just kind of copy paste this. All of you should be able to copy and paste within your own code. Feature. So then we're going to change it to avatars. CS. So yes, I just recorded my tutorial for boundaries today, and I explained in that one that uh, it's good to have your pictures up before you make the boundaries, so that you know where to draw the lines. And then paste it again, and we'll put up Star Wars Yoda. <laughs> and we'll change it to 300. So I've spaced them basically 100 apart from the centers. So there's our three images. Now, how do we want the user to be able to pick between them? Mouse click. Mouse click is good. Theoretically, we could also use key press. I want to demonstrate mouse click today, so it's kind of a trick question. But if you guys really wanted to do one or the other, then we would have done that. This is a little bit easier. Yeah, it is a little bit easier. That's why I'm doing this instead of like, here's how you make a full scale project so that people don't like. Well, they're both easy, but <laughs> yeah. From if if you know them both, it's easy. Yeah, but if you don't, then it can be tricky. Are you still on level nine? Uh, I don't know. 
I, I haven't been keeping track. Anyway, so we want to use this mouse click function. Have you finished your soul case? Gotham, what did I say about interrupting people? So, uh, to answer your question, I didn't really start any new showcases, so I haven't finished any new showcases. Anyway, we're going to go into the mouse clicked function and uh, change it so that it, it changes which stamp we use based on where we click. So let's set up our boundaries so that if you click on the picture, it'll, it'll, it'll change something. So what are our coordinates for this? It looks like it's, oh, and if you guys have a question or you do wanna make a comment, feel free to do that as long as you like, don't just cut people off. I'm not trying to say don't talk. <laughs> So we're trying to set up um, something that happens when you click on the stamp. So we're going to use if statements to set up boundaries and then inside the if statement we'll put the thing we want to happen. So we'll do if we need mouse x is greater than something and mouse x is less than something and mouse y is greater than something and mouse y is less than something. So I'm going to comment this out for now. So our coordinates for the happy one, it's it's 100 across and it's centered at position 100. So on either side, it'll be 50 and 50. So we can say if mouse x is greater than 50, then it's on this on the button. Is everyone following so far? Yep. If it's greater than 50, then it'll be on the smiley face. Uh, if mouse X is less than 150, because 100 plus 50 is 150. Uh, oh, wow, I landed that right on. Mouse X is less than 150, and mouse Y is less than, so mouse Y being less would mean it's closer to the top. It would be less than 100, because this guy is 100 tall. Less than 100, and... Mouse Y is greater than zero. But we don't even have to say that because mouse Y will always be greater than zero. It can't not be greater than zero. Like we can't actually move the mouse to, or sorry, it's always greater, it's always greater than zero. We can't actually move it to be less than zero. So that one's fine. So if it's on, this is the tricky part. If it's on happy, what do we want to happen when we click on this button? We want to select it? Yeah. So there's a difference between drawing it and selecting it. Set R to zero. Yeah, R equals zero. So this is why we would want to have this external variable R. Um, we could also make it a Boolean variable. Um, we could make like three different ones, like var happy equals false. And then we can say if happy equals true, then draw happy. It's easier to just use var and different, or just var. You just use r and different numbers because then you only have to define one variable, which is r. Um, also, I'm going to take out this randomizer thing. <laughs> so now I click on that one and it, and it only draws that one now. So it's working. Uh, now we've got to make a way for to click the other two. So all we have to do is make two more if statements with borders around those guys. Mouse x is greater than and mouse x is less than and mouse y is less than 100 because horizontally they're all the same. Let's see, what do you guys think the coordinates are going to be for the left side and the right side? Because okay. It's at position 200 and it's 100 wide. So it's 50 from the middle of this way and 50 from the middle of that way. So to find out the first coordinate, you can just look at 200 minus the radius. 200 minus 50. It's going to be 150. So if mouse x is greater than 150 and mouse x is less than 250, because it's the opposite. We should have this A okay. I will set R. What what do we do now? 
when we click you on one? yeah are you <laughs> yeah i just covered Have it, up you it. <laughs> and then if i click on here it changes uh, just, what's wrong with it right now yoda doesn't work yoda doesn't work that's a very good point i'm fixing that right now so x is less than 350 and mouse y is less than 100. r equals you click on Yoda, 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 Yoda. <laughs> Are we done? Does anybody see anything wrong with this? No. Yes. Do we want? Um, you want to select it, but like when you click on it the first time, it draws one automatically. Yeah, I'm covering up my menu with stamps. Oh. It's the right stamp, but we just want it to select, not stamp on top. So if the mouse is in the button, we just want it to select. We don't want, um, I can't actually see anymore. She set boundaries for it. I do have boundaries for it. So what I can do is exclude draw a picture from my boundaries. So I can say, I can turn this into an else statement, else if. So if the mouse is in one of these three places, and if it's not, else <laughs> means if the above three things are false, only then do we draw the picture. So with this code, where are stamps allowed to be drawn? Anywhere under... Anywhere that's not the buttons. Because if it's on the first button, do this thing. If it's not on the first button, we check if it's on the second button. If it's not on the second button, we check if it's on the third button. So by this point in the code, we've said it's not on the first button, it's not on the second button, it's not on the third button, so we get to draw the picture. So then if we go up here, they don't, we, it just selects, it doesn't cover over top. Does that make sense? Um, yeah. So, we want to make it so that when it has to check if it's on the button before it draws. If it's not on the button, it draws. Sorry? I just screenshot. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, let me see. How do you screenshot? How do you? Oh, no. Screenshot? Like, I just took a. I just, I just like snipped it with the tool that I have. All oh. right. Uh, did you guys want to customize these pictures to make them from the internet? Yeah. Somebody requested oh, no. Baby Yoda. We already uh, have Baby Yoda in there. We already have Baby Yoda? No, it's just normal Yoda. <laughs> if anybody wants to load in pictures from the internet, throw your recommendations in the chat. Um, and I also said we can Yoda? make... We could make it make sound. Um, so what kind of a, a sound do you think we should put? And when should we make it happen? Anytime, anywhere. Well, that's not really helpful. We could make a draw function that just when calls. When you click on it, when you choose. Your... You choose it, if they like say something like, oh, pick me, or something. Or I mean, like, when you click it, it's like. Maybe it makes a sound it would. Maybe like if you click Yoda, a Yoda, something that Yoda says. Yeah, okay. So we'll find like Yoda sound clips. Um, uh, voice. Uh, oops, not images. <laughs> Yoda voice clips. Yoda no. sound clips. What do you guys think? Oh, you can't even hear. Here, I'll, I'll share my screen better. I sense much fear in you. What in the world? It's terrifying. This is, that is terrifying. Let me see if I can find a shorter one. Wait, how do you how do you get these uh, how how do you get those photos? 
I mean, how do you get those sounds? I just, I literally just Googled Yoda voice clip. And now I'm, now I'm looking just through. <laughs> Can you do some songs? Songs. Uh, I, the problem is that I don't have a way to stop the song. So if you put like a whole song, then we just have, all have to wait for it to stop. And I know. <laughs> Agree with your taking. Hey, do that one, do that one. <laughs> Let's see if I can. No, it doesn't let me. I, I, I really wish I could do that one. It's funny. That one. Yeah, it let me. Oh, will it let me? Here we go. <laughs> Very turtle sound. Can I, can I email it to someone? <laughs> I don't you know. Email it to me. I'm just trying to get the link. What happened to Google? It's I at don't the top. Care. Okay, well, let's take a you look. You remember? Yeah, I do remember, but it doesn't have a it works. Uh, all right, so let me make a function that's to make the sound. Bar Yoda laugh oh. equals function. We'll call, we'll make a <laughs> semicolon. Um, bar. Uh, laugh. I, I know there's a semicolon. Equals new audio with the URL inside. Let's see if it works. And we'll call it if it's clicked on, if we click on Yoda. All right. Well, it doesn't work. I think it has to do with the link. I don't think that's a link a to function. a sound. Then, then copy the link again on the, it's, it's, the URL. It is a it's function. A fu you didn't make it play. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I told you I was La tired today. La yeah, it you still, computer it, it audio? still doesn't work. It, it is shared. Well, can, you guys, can you guys hear this? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you can hear that. I just can't get the actual link of the sound. Yeah, this is the link to the sound, but it's broken. Wait, you want me to send a link if I can get it? Okay. What is it? Oh, you have to find a link that works. No, Y O D Yoda. Yeah. Yoda? What is it? Yoda sounds? You have to find it. <laughs> Let's see if we can. We'll see if this one works. See, this is why I was like, let's get it working before we do the customizing. No. Control audio C. With a URL. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm sending it to you. Wait. Um, cancel. Wait, I'm, I'm sending it privately. Okay. New audio. Control V. There you go. I said this to you. It's two seconds. Oh, I'm I'm trying to get to the chat. It's not popping up for some reason. Okay. Oh, I don't think I can use a YouTube link. It has to be like a sound file link. Okay. I know I clicked to play the sound, but I want. Oh, here is this it? Converted to MP3. Yeah, I can't really. It needs to be a link on a website. It doesn't matter what file format it is. It has to be like, you know how if you go to images. Mm. Ah. Uh, oh, yeah. Sans as one of our. Uh, <laughs> no, I know this is dangerous to Google anything I under I got it. images. I got it. Control you got V. It? Yes. Sans to skeleton. Yeah, so the way you get this, no, I didn't want the link, I wanted the image. Open image in new tab. See, this is the link to the image. So all that's on this page is yeah. an image. So if I double click on this, I can drag it into image and I can maybe replace, well, I'll just throw it in here for now. But with these noises, they're not actual sound files. Like, uh, I probably could make it Megalovania when I press it. It just would play for a really long time. It could get annoying. 
I think I know how you could get the sound. How do I get the sound? So if you go back to where, like, the sound player was at. The, Got it. I sent it to you. There was this little thing on the right side top. I sent it to you. I know. Somebody's talking right now. Okay. What, what, what were you saying? So um, when you were looking at the sound, uh, like, wh while you were trying to find it, there was this thing that um, I looked like a link button thingy, I think. Right. If I go yeah, that's where right it went. Here. I went to eat. Yeah, yeah. See, like, eat. those blue things on the right? Maybe yeah. That's, that's what the same thing I did. If I click on this, it just takes me to the web page. So I copy. Mm. <laughs> that's a great sound. <laughs> I put it as the URL. That's what the URL currently is. Uh, oh, mm. something's, something's not happening. Mm. Oh, it's, it's because of the other link. Send, yeah. maybe. Mm. See, I'm clicking on it, it's not working. Yeah. But if I go to like, mm. I, I use these GLaDOS voice clips because I know they work. If I go to mm. anything. You. I'm sending you download. Right Right back. The portal will open in. Th and I can go to this. I can copy and paste. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, better than right here. Right back. It works. The portal will open in three, two, two one. one. It, it plays for the entire time, so that's why I want to use a short one. So I don't know. If, that's, a, that's a good project is to look for um, sound clip links that actually Make work. Make it say, choose me. I, I don't know if I can, because it depends on the link. It depends if the link actually works or not. Like, I can keep looking. Wait, maybe you should search Yoda noises on the website that you found the uh, Yoda noise. It was a Wikipedia page. Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm just thinking maybe it'd be there. Sound bites? Yoda sound? Oh, my. This is an old website. Damn. Oh, wow. Well, really? Wait, what? Old website? <laughs> I'm trying to find more Yoda yes. sounds. So maybe we won't get to do any sounds. Uh, but that's how you would Boy, do it. You'd make a function. Sound one. Uh, you'd make a function, call that function when you want it to happen. Um, <laughs> we're always time traveling here. So let's go into... Uh, oh, is there anybody who really wanted to be in a group project that is currently not in a group project? Can I be in one? Is that Gotham requesting that? Who's requesting that? Okay. Anybody who's not in one, because I can start one. Start one. I'm trying to get them in, but it looks like it can only be three people plus me. Three people plus me. Matthew wants to be in one. But she is a god. Somebody's echoing. So I'm gonna mute everybody. <laughs> Is it yours? Uh, no, it's no. not mine. Unmute. Uh, oh, oh, I have to click mute all, not unmute all. I told you guys I'm tired today. I told you guys I'm tired today. See, whoever's echoing did just turn their sound back on. It's hotter. It's hotter. It's hotter. It's hotter. Yeah, I know. It's hotter. It's hotter. It's hotter. It's hotter. Yeah, it's probably because I just took out my earphone. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ah. So, let's go to Project Viewer. Um, is this our, okay. So I went in here at one point. So the problem we were having last time is that when you click on Ava's project, we also we don't want to also be able to get into Justin's project. So um, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, what's going on? First of all, there's a couple of bugs I wanted to fix, and Gotham, I will go through your project as well. Um, yeah, you deleted my comments. I hope that means it's all fixed. Because before we play around with this, you have to make yeah, sure, yeah, I let's fixed see what's going it. on. I fixed it, and I looked over, it and I did what Veronica suggested, and I looked at your comments. Cool, so it's working great now. So mouse clicked. So we've got this 
variable here. So let me just take this out just for demonstration's sake. So, uh, I need that actually. And then this can go away. This, is, this was our problem. Uh, if we click on Ava's project and then click on within the boundaries for Justin's project, they both start going. Just like when we were doing our mouse click or our stamp click, stamp stamp maker. Yeah, we were coding Pac-Man Chomp um, yesterday. So we can work on that together as well. So based on, ooh, okay, interesting. So how would we make it so that when I click into Ava's project, I can no longer click into Justin's project? You should make a... So I should make it so that this button is only active at certain times. Just like with our stamp maker, it was only able to make stamps if it wasn't in any of the boundaries for the button. Use booleans. Yeah, so I'm gonna use a boolean. Yeah. Um, because we can't, it's not, the, the condition isn't based on where the mouse is, it's based on the other project being started. And there isn't really a convenient way to ask the computer, hey computer, have I called Ava's project yet? There is no good way to keep track of that. So that's why I made this Boolean variable choose. So if choose is true, then you're allowed to click on a button. When you click on the button, see this is the boundary for Justin's project. As soon as I click on Justin's project, choose is now false, because I told it so. As soon as we click on Ava's project, it's now false. When they make a button for Kai's project, let's just do that quickly right now. If mouse X is greater than 49, whoa, somebody's highlighting stuff. That's Ava. And mouse X is less than Sorry. 85. And mouse X is greater than 37. Or just mouse Y rather than mouse X. Mouse Y is greater than 37. And and mouse mouse Y is less than uh, 88. Then we're gonna say to oh I messed that up. We're gonna say choose is now false. So if we click on any of these buttons, it says choose to false. Um, and if choose is false, then it can no longer activate the buttons. So I've set my condition on which to turn off these buttons basically. So it's basically like, if you have a button on like your, your computer, and when if Inside, there's like a, a Boolean inside of this, like, is it, am I on or am I off? I don't know if this is how they actually work, but we can imagine that there is. And once you press it, it changes it from off to on. And then when you press it inside, it has to know, okay, now I turn it off. That's basically what's happening here. If it's on, then it executes and then it turns it to, it, it changes the status of whether it's on or off. Once you press it, pressing it changes its status. Uh, great, so now we can't get into anybody else's project this way. Um, do we have, does Kai have a project yet? Yes, we can put this in here. This project, which currently does not work, but that's okay. Now all of the buttons work and you can't get into anyone else's project once you're in the project. Does this make sense? Uh, is there anything about this that you want me to explain a little better? Oh, uh, I have a question. What's your question? Um, is there any other way that they could get out of their project without reloading the whole game thingy? I mean, the project? Oh, that's, that's a really good question. You could have a back button. Yeah, you can have a back button. So what you could do is at the bottom, you could say like, if not choose, then you draw a button. I'll make the fill color red. 
And I will put a rectangle in the top corner. Then, oh, that doesn't necessarily work if, uh, depending on the project, the reset matrix. Yeah, so now there's a red button in the top corner. Um, and what you could do is set up a boundary so that if you click it, it calls the title page function. So let's say um, if, so if choose is false, putting else if because this one is, is if choose is true, this one is if choose is false, I'll just say else. Um, if mouse X is less than 20 and mouse Y is less than 20, then we call title page, the title page function. So now if I click up here, nothing happens. It's because choose is true. As soon as I click into someone's project, and click on the button. The <laughs> it puts the title page back up, but it doesn't stop Ava's project from running. So that's, you know, and something you to be Ava's explored. project equals false. Uh, yeah, I should do that. So by setting Ava's project to false, I'm saying don't run it anymore. Ava project equals false. Let's try this. And then they'll Ava have project to start. But, but Justin's project also false. False. Yeah, that's true. Justin's project equals false, and not true. I don't have one for. So let's see. Works. Oh, <laughs> okay, it comes back. Why? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm still debugging it. If Ava Project Ava start. Project oh, it's Ava Project Ava's. Start. Yeah, that's what I was saying. S. S. So it's Ava Project Start. And, and then just Justin Project Start. Because I can't set the function to be false. It's false. Okay, let's try it again. So here's our little teeny tiny back button. Uh, feel free to change it. Oh, no, it's not working anymore. Somebody's changing something. That's what's going on. Just hey, adjusting this code. Okay, you adjust it and then I can run it. So if you want to make the rectangle bigger, could we have, it's in our draw function. So I have it if not choose so that it doesn't appear on the home screen, but it appears in every other project. We call the project first. If I change this to be on top here, we won't see it. Oh, it'll, then, see, it'll get covered up. And then they could um, write like oh. make text saying uh, like back. Click or here something. to go back. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So this has to be at the bottom so that it, it gets drawn last yeah. and it doesn't get covered up by any of the projects. Do it this project and I can click there and it takes me back. You just in this project, all of a sudden this button does not work. That's and exciting. the button has to get rid of it on the start screen. Oh, I need to set choose back to true. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, if we click on the button, we also have to set choose. So this is why it's important to keep track of your Boolean variables. They're very helpful, but they can be a lot to keep track of. Um, yeah, they can be very helpful. Back, Ava's project, back, Justin project, back. So there we go. This is tips on how to code a back button. You make it only show up if it's not the title page. Uh, and so if you wanted to keep that back button, but let's say Ava had another step, it's like, oh, if you click on the middle, then you go somewhere else and then the back buttons can stay there, but you want it to take you back to the swirly thing, then you could say, you could just make another Boolean variable that's like uh, the next part of your project. Like if we wanted to, if you click on the middle, then you go down the rabbit hole, and now you're playing checkers. <laughs> you can say like var checkers equals true, and if if var checkers equals true, draw such and such a thing and make the mouse do such and such a thing. Are you with me? Yeah. Any clarification you guys need that you can think of? I know sometimes it's like I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> so the back. Uh, starts from 146 to and then ends on 150. That's it. That's the only thing you need to write for a back button. 
basically. Okay. <laughs> there. <laughs> I want um, to see anything else that you need. Well, here's the thing. Actually, to, to, to draw the back button, this is the, the part that draws the picture. So I'm going to get rid of it uh, whenever people are done editing. Of you. And then how does the function work? Yeah, I I'm... Put a variable and then function? Uh, a variable and then... F oh, yeah, how to define a function? First, I'll answer your question with the back button. If you yeah, click yeah. here... The back button still works, even though the picture isn't there. So this part go that says, if not choose, it draws a square, um, that only draws the physical back button. The part that makes it go back is in mouse clicked. So these are our boundaries. If mouse clicked is less than 20 this way and less than 20 up and down, then it sets all these variables to false. You need to reset your flags and then calls the title page function. If I get rid of this, even though I have the, even though I have the button, it doesn't work. And I can't prove <laughs> that's here until, we start, until the text gets settled. But okay. you, so you need both you the both mouse the click function, function and the choose and function. I'm oh, sorry, the choose function, function, the uh, uh, rectangle, yeah. the picture of the rectangle. That's cool. Um, okay, so to make a function. So to make a function. Oh my goodness, who's oh echoing? <laughs> it's hard. It's trolling me. Trolling me. It's I'm hiding. too it's tired hiding. for the skies. Tired for the skies. <laughs> you gotta not echo. Not echo. We'll just play Megalovania for the rest of the lesson. You should meet. Oh, I can take care of that. Awesome. Did you have a question earlier? Wait, can we look at my look, can we look at my group project? Yeah, we have fifteen yeah, have minutes left in the class, so oh, wow. there's plenty of time. The red button is the back button. Okay. Um, can anybody explain yeah. how to define a function? I can You call it. I can call it. Okay, but how do you call it? You can draw a function. Put in name you and two bracket and semicolon. And it doesn't have to be inside the draw function. Doesn't. That's true. It actually shouldn't be inside the draw function. <clears throat> oh, well, then I broke the rules because mine's inside the draw function. <laughs> yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, you can't do that. I mean, it works. Yoo-hoo. Um, like, for example, here's Kai's project. Kai's project. Would take everything that's not in the draw function, like your variable creations. Uh, and put them up top. Somebody echoing. Somebody echoing. And then, uh, oh, cool. Oh no, it doesn't stop yet. <laughs> then you would take everything that's in the draw function. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, everybody's muted. Um, you're not allowed to unmute yourself anymore because there's too much echoing. Put up your hand if you want to speak and I will unmute you, I promise. It's just getting a, li a little bit crazy. What's up, Miley? Um, what are we doing right now? Like, what I'm trying to explain how to make a function. Okay. But the, so I was gonna get some audience participation to be like, hey, how do I make a function? So I'm not just talking at you, but then it was too echoey, so I can't do that. Okay. You just write, to create your function, right, var, name of your function, it doesn't have to be name of function, as I'm sure you've seen, equals function. This part's really important, equals function, that tells it that it's a list of instructions and not just one piece of data. Open bracket, close bracket, semicolon. Everything in between these two curly brackets will happen when you write name of function like that. That's how you call it. This is like when you're in gym class and the teacher's like, when I say go, when I say go, I haven't said go yet, but when I say go, I want you, this is how you play the game octopus or whatever. So right now we're explaining to it how to play octopus and then calling it is basically saying go and then they'll go octopus, etc. I, I know you guys don't watch Disney Channel, but I hope you, you do still play octopus. That's timeless. Um, okay, I'm going to 
uh, hesitantly allow you guys to unmute yourselves. <laughs> we can explain that. And we'll look at Gotham's group project. Because I promised I would. I am the reason why. Uh, oh, can you post the link in the chat? I can't. I'm not part of it anymore. Oh, that's true. Just Hunter has to mute himself. Yeah, I'm the one who's echoing. Um, yes. So I just keep mute, mute unless one. you have to disappear. If you want to oh, say what? something, make sure nobody else I is talking so first. <laughs> or yeah, you can always put it in the chat. Okay. Um, okay. So what do you need help with? Whoa. <laughs> do you want the bricks to be flashing? I changed the color. Niles, Niles, can you tell the glitch? Yeah, what's the no. problem? Oh, no. Uh, Niles, are you here? So I've got a couple things that I might... Is Niles here? He is. Niles is here. When I looked at it, there wasn't any glitch. There was. Okay. Can you try to recreate the glitch? Wait, let me try to reclear it. The... Let's see if I can reclear it. If you hit the side, you get infinite points. Oh, I know, oh that fascinating. Oh, yeah. yeah, there's the glitch. Uh, which side? And both the sides. So, you gotta time it right, and if, if you do, you get, like, good. Okay, like, let's just walk through the code. Let's just see what's going on. Title is true. Ball of color, ball of color, ball of color. Brick, brick. Exposition, exposition, speed, speed, ball size, points. Play I didn't know ball size. Cause it says B size, and I'm guessing that it means ball, not like balloon or birdie. Or okay, <laughs> you're yeah, playing yeah, a ball. Okay. Okay, okay, you're correct. You're correct. Moving ball, fill. That looks fine. Ball size, ball size, increase, increase. That works fine, and we know it works fine. It's with the points. If it's yeah, this is just the boundaries to reflect it. If Y position is greater than 400. Change the background color? Whoa. <laughs> <I'll disappear. laughs> if Y position is greater than 400. So if the ball hits, goes beyond four. I don't understand. Oh, oh, it goes off the end of the screen. It says, oh no, click to try again. Cool. If my position if it's greater. Okay, so this is the part that increments the points. So there's got to be a glitch in here. I'm just going to double check around down here that there's no more points incrementing. Are you going to be in the office webinar after this? Uh, it's only on Tuesdays. Come on. <laughs> you have a problem. You can always email me at Brenda at Hatch Coding. Uh, I'm scrolling through to make sure there is no other... Who, somebody's changing something and it's making 49% errors. Uh, I think it's Niles. Uh, Niles. Uh, Niles is doing most of the changes. Okay, so it looks like the only place where the points are incremented is line 61. So it has to be a problem with this part of the code because it's the only one with a point incrementer. So if the Y position, I'm assuming this is of the ball, is greater than paddle.y and it's less okay so the paddle.y would be the height of the paddle and x position is less than or equal to paddle x and then it's greater than or equal to paddle.width so that's basically saying if it's on there change the direction of the speed and up the points Interesting. And there's no other. Go to my showcase. Uh, why? Because they're the same. They're the same. Well, you know why we're doing this? Why are we doing this? Cut. Okay, why do you want to explain it? Because my. I don't know why. You don't know what? Okay, the, 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 I I can't really. Group projects don't count as showcases. Yeah, you know why we did this? Why? So to get this get game finished. 
so it, it, I can't seem to get it to do infinite points. Oh, I think I see. Yeah, if it you saw, goes, you saw it. It's, it was like yeah. two and it went to ten. If it gets trapped inside the paddle, if it comes at it from the side, it can get stuck inside the paddle. It looks like. Um, let's see if we can change something about your if statement. Or I can, or I can ask, um, Mr. F or Veronica to help. What I'm thinking <laughs> is we just say, if we just remove this line. You can ask Niles about it. Oh, you did it already? Uh, let me let me see if it makes the glitch again. So this way, it it shouldn't be able to go. It did. I just saw it. Oh, <laughs> it did it again. It to me also. I saw that when it it hit the bottom, it just did a bunch of points. Yeah, it gave okay. me ten. If if it okay. If y position is greater than paddle dot y and x position, okay. I'm gonna have to take a look at this after hours, but I'm um, serious debugging. Uh, you guys, yeah, exactly. You guys should work on debugging this too. Like, this is not my group project. This is your group project, and um, you guys are really smart. So I'm sure between the three of you can figure out a way to make the boundaries on this not let the ball get stuck inside the paddle because I think that's what's happening. Is that it's like bouncing inside the boundaries you've set up. It's getting in somehow and it's bouncing. Um, so like, what if you did it so that if it's outside the width, it, it bounces off sideways instead of just bouncing up because then it can go into the paddle. You know, like Nile said, it said it glitches and then you lose right away. Yeah, that's the right, okay. Sometimes. You guys you guys are going to have to work on that. Let's get a few more lines of code of our Pac-Man Chomp game done. Because that was a request we had. And uh, it looks like that's the source of your problem. Wait, did you hear that sound? No. Wait, you didn't hear the sound? No. He's like, did anyone else hear the sound? Uh, I did not. No, I didn't hear it. <laughs> uh, Pac-Man Chomp. So we finished Pac-Man Chomp function. Last time I checked, create a play sound function that store a Pac-Man sound. So we know how to do this. We just make the URL uh, audio. I'm gonna have to break this down all the way, I think, because I, as we found out, it's really hard to find good sounds. So uh, I will be doing this one. Type what you see. Our play sound. It's not because I don't know how to make a function. It's because I don't want to go hunting for a sound when they've got a perfectly good sound. For me, URL equals. And since I'm a coach, I can copy and paste. I do not have to copy it out. And most of the time, when I copy this stuff, it's just to get a project set up so we can do some real coding together. Uh, what is this? Far up. How up. could you oh, copy? Cool. If you were going to find one, how would you do it? Can you show that? How would we find a um, URL to play sound? Yeah. Do you remember when I wanted to play a Yoda sound just earlier today and I looked all over the internet and I couldn't find a good link? Do you mean a good link? Like a link that would actually work. The only link that worked was that GLaDOS link. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Your guess is as good as mine. I do not know how to find a good audio clip online. Because I demonstrated today. I was earnestly searching for one, but I couldn't. Mm. So we're almost done this part, applause, uh, applause dot play. Now we're done three out of how many components are there? 11. Okay, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> Good thing we're done. This is going to take us long enough. Break it down all the way then. Uh, Wait, what? Created this so much space for the score. So don't okay, this one's super easy. Pseudo code. Four equals function. Draw a text instruction on the screen for showing the score. Bake it that on the way. <laughs> we can do this. What does the example you say? The score is zero. I you know. Want to uh, so I do it to, we'll set it to white. We'll say text is score. 
and it's at position 2020. And wow, we'll say yeah. text, and then what's our score? Score is your special score. Uh, 2040. Oops. There, I made it up, and I didn't even have to look. Are you? Aren't you so impressed? Did you wish you could code like? Clap, <laughs> I'm just clap, being weird. Clap, clap. <laughs> Dot object. Okay, so now we get to define an object prototype. That's fun. Does anyone remember how to create an object? It's the same as making a function, except we give it a bunch of variables, and that's it. This and we start each of the variables with this dot x instead of var x. Do this dot x. Random. Random zero four hundred. Okay, four hundred. This dot y equals random zero four hundred. This dot color equals random zero zero four hundred. Four o'clock. You are free to go. As you always were. It random between zero and 400. That's weird. This dot size equals 10. I guess we'll leave it here. We got two more components done. Hopefully next week we'll have a little more time at the end with not all debug faster. So we have more time to work on our, our Pac-Man. Uh, have a good rest of your day, everybody. Thank you for cooperating with all the echoing and the talking over. It's much appreciated. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.